when you know you're going to be on stage, you want to make sure that you look your best and that you're properly dressed for the part. Appearance was especially important to a gentleman named Hugo Ball. He was a poet and a leader of an artistic movement called Dada. A hat like this was part of his costume, which looked like this. The number 13 on the cardboard tube that covered his face had nothing or everything to do with his performance. Dada artists didn't claim to make sense, but they did want to make unconventional artistic statements. Most of them as a form of social protest. In this case, the statement included waving a small flag while reciting a nonsensical poem. The poem was written and first performed by Hugo Ball in Zurich in 1916. And it remains to this day a classic example of what Mr. Ball called sound poetry. Here's what it sounds like. A totally imaginary language invented by Mr. Ball. Kawani Jolifanto Blumba Ofali Hambla Grossigam Pafla Habla Horami Gaga Goldman High Globlo Aikora Sula Huju Holaka Holala and Logobang Blagobang Blagobang Baso Futaka U U U Shampa Uwalawasa Olobo Hedgetada Gorame Sed Zumbada Wulubu Susuba de Uluasa Suba de Tama Ba Umf Kasagama Ba Umf It didn't make any sense, but it wasn't supposed to make any sense. But nevertheless, Mr. Ball's performance got a rousing ovation and turned out not to be a passing fancy, but a new art form, sound poetry.